Okay, so in the last video I did say I was going to do my hair. That is going to get done. I'm going to bleach that in a minute. But before I get around to doing that, I'm going to open some posts. Now the post I mentioned in the last video has actually come a bit quicker than I thought it had done. So I'm going to open it here, show you what it is. As I said, you may well sort of guess. Um, it's more so when you see that it's a package like this sort of shape. But as I said, this is a winter thing. That's my excuse anyway. So these are, well, you're gonna guess, look. It's a pair of winter vans. These name is the SK8 High 46 MTE DX shoes. The MTE is the all weather. So these are the all weather vans that will last throughout the winter. The difference between these and the normal SK8 High boots that vans do for the winter ones, the MTE ones, firstly you can see you've got a fluffy lining. So there's a fluffy lining around the top and a fluffy lining on the inside. They've got the Ultra Cush sole, so they're super, super comfortable in the soles on the inner. They've got weatherproof material on the outside, which is what this is, all weather. It shows us that they're all weatherproof. They've got weatherproof linings on them. They've also got extra heat protection on them. So they keep your feet warm inside with the comfy linings and everything else. The other thing which is slightly different on these compared to the normal vans is the soles. These soles have actually got, as you can see, a raised tread. It's the same pattern that you always get on your vans, except for this time, as I said, it's raised. So it's more grippy. So again, for weather, mud, snow, that sort of stuff. You've got a sticker telling us that it's fake fur on there. Obviously, we wouldn't want real fur, would we? So I said, obviously, this is a brand new pair of shoes. It's in a beautiful colour. It's lilac and grey. They actually call this obsidian grey. And then it's lilac for the rest of it. And you've actually got the van stripe in lilac as well. So I bought these specifically for as it's getting colder for the winter weather. I mean, I've got my mountain warehouse boots, which are quite nice for the winter, but I would like a pair of Vans, I suppose. I don't want to ruin them though, so I still want to be careful with them, but I want something that's warm and comfortable. I won't change the laces. Again, this one's slightly different than the normal Vans. With these ones, you get the round laces. That's supposed to be because of the ruggedness, I suppose, the winter warmth. They've got round laces, which are better weatherproofed than the flat ones. And I probably won't change these, because I actually think these laces look all right on this pair, so. My other shoes, I will put, and I do mean this, I will put some of my vans away in the cupboard so that I won't be wearing them. So maybe the, my pink zebra ones and my sort of yellowy green ones with the netting on, they're quite delicate and I think they're quite summery. So they're probably going to go away now for the winter. I'll still wear the other boots. I don't tend to wear the Nightmare Before Christmas ones very much. So I'll wear the yellow era ones. The newer ones I got, the recent ones with the like the sort of Indian type pattern on it, the Guatemala pattern. The Czech ones, which are sort of like a cream, pink and brown Czech. And the boots with the iridescent pattern. Those will be worn. And of course, when it's cold, I will sure then wear these. These are awesome. I love them. Brilliant pair of shoes. And um, yeah, again, I'm now up to what? Nine pairs, I think now. That does mean I'm one away from 10. So I'm joining the Vans family, obviously online, so you do get discounts occasionally if you buy them from Vans. I didn't, again. Um, these are brand new, but I didn't buy them direct from Vans because they, they're out of stock on the website themselves of these ones in this size. Or in any size, actually. I haven't got them in any size at the moment. So I got them somewhere else, brand new. I didn't pay as much as they should be. Um, I haven't got a pair of slip-ons yet. I keep meaning and keep trying to buy a pair of slip-ons. So if you look on the Vans website, there's a Vans pair of Bugs. I really like the Bugs shoes, but they're not at the right price at the moment. They came down to 32 quid. They've shot back up again, and I'm not going to pay the higher price when I know they sold them cheaper. There's also a pair of Thermochrome shoes or Thermochrome slip-ons. Again, they're not really available now in the UK. I've seen a couple of other sites selling them at ridiculous prices. And the thing is, again, for the winter, they're not going to change colour. If they change colour in the heat, they're not going to do that in the winter. And it's very difficult to do that in the UK anyway because it doesn't get that hot. But I do want a pair of slip-ons. I've got to get a pair of slip-ons at some point. That will give me 10. Whether or not I will stop then, I don't know. But I suppose, you know, hey-ho, what else am I going to do? You know, I haven't got anyone else to buy shoes for or somebody that, uh, you know, loves me enough to wear shoes with me. So, who will see. 
So as you can see, the hair is actually done. It still needs cutting, obviously. It's far, far too long. I'm not so sure about the length. Nothing I can do about that, but at least I've got some color into it. It's gone patchy in areas though, but never mind. Um, shoes have been sorted. I have sorted out, put away the pairs I said I was gonna put away. I've even actually thrown a pair away. <laughs> I say I've thrown away, I've actually given to charity or put into a charity box the rifle pair, which I just basically wasn't wearing anymore because of all the vans, so that's gone. Um, now we're on our way, this is going to be the second trip of the week to the eye hospital. It's earlier, and then I thought it was about half past four, so we'll leave early to do that because of the traffic. Um, it's all grey and clear, I don't know. If I get time, I'm obviously going to hang around, so I might do some more videoing, vlogging. I might even get the drone out, but it'll be dark by the time I do, so we'll see how things go. So I've managed to stop and wait. I'm waiting for the confirmation as to how long I've actually got to wait to go and pick her up after the operation. And I've managed to stop outside one of my favourite shops. I say one of my favourite shops. This is a shop that's intrigued me for years. It's been here a very long time. I've been coming past this place as a child, I'm sure I have. Um, and it's always here and it's always well lit. The electricity bill for this shop must be absolutely incredible. I mean, some of the lights and the stuff they sell here is absolutely amazing. Price-wise, yeah, it's obviously prices fit the bill what they've actually got in here, but I just love the look of some of this stuff. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video. And thanks again. Bye-bye.